Hey, time to have a look at this Sky RC at 60. Picked it up on offer, dirt cheap. Four button charge by the looks of it, other than it has a PC link. Well, not much in the box. Standard manual by the looks of it. Got nice ventilation and fan. Takes AC from anywhere in the world, 100 to 240 volts. Comes with a Euro adapter. Put it on one of these, be fine. Nice short XT60 to banana plugs. This is only 1 to 4S, but that's fine by me, that's all I use. Micro USB T computer. There is a program you can download from SkyRC. Um, I'll have a look at that in a minute. It does lithium phosphate, lithium polymer, high volt lithium, lithium iron, nickel metal hydride, NICAD, and lead. So everything you can imagine. Gonna go through some of the stuff on here. Now uh, this is a nice one. Battery resistance test. Battery program. So I've got a 1300 free cell lipo. Battery number one. Lipo. You can go for all the others. Okay. I'll leave it as lipo. So I wanted it as 3s. Yep. And then 1.3 amps for 1c charging. Save program. Enter. Saved. It is just a run of your mail four button charger. Let's load up the computer, I suppose, and have a look and see what's what. So, excuse the noise. So, it's just a micro USB connection to this, which says PC Link. Shows up as a STM32 custom human interface device. Connect the battery up. On the right hand side of this app, you've got your battery voltage, the cells, and so forth. Um, battery type. Yeah, LiPo. I want storage charge, okay, two cells, yeah, okay. Charge current. This allows you to go up to 10 amps, but I believe this is a um, 60 watt, five or six amp uh, max. I only need 0.8 at 1C. So let's get this started. You do have to confirm to get it going through the motions. You can view the graphs of capacity, milliamp hours you put into it, the voltage of the battery or the current, and you can zoom in and out, fit to view. Uh, let's have a look at the current, shall we? Okay, it started at zero, it's peaked up at 0 0.65, 0 0.7, and now it's dropped back down to, where are we? About 0.38. So we can zoom right out and scroll around on this graph. Um, save the screen, just click the X to come back. Same with milliamp hours. Obviously it's incrementally putting stuff in, charging there. It is quite cool, it's nice to see what the batteries are doing. I think the one you want to keep an eye on is the um, current, just to see what it's doing. Like all battery LiPo charging, it'll peak at the maximum amperage that you set and then it'll slope off when it gets to the targeted voltage uh, because it's constant voltage isn't it not constant current showing an internal temperature of 28 degrees C I'm just going to let this run and finish up in its own time for the time being you I think you can still manipulate this yeah you can it's just a matter of waiting okay charge complete Thank you very much. And click stop. And it's referenced on here. Absolutely brilliant. Well, there you go. Dirt cheap. I think it was 30 something bucks. It's on par with my i6, if not even better, because it's got the internal resistance uh, check. Supports every type of cell and battery you might need. Um, it doesn't do below 5 volts, I believe. I think it's only 2 to 4S LiPo, uh, lithium ion, uh, NICAD and NIM, uh, 6 to 8, and LED 6 to 12 volts. So just bear that in mind. You won't be able to charge your 4, four cell nickel metal hydrides and stuff. And if you've got a AA charger, something akin to this that I plug in, it won't suffice with that. A worthy successor to my IMAX B6.
Any questions? I'm happy to answer them. It's a four button charger. Sky RC, gotta love it. Got the i6, I've got my Quattro, got this S60. Um, I do rely quite heavily on my ISDT with 608 and I uh, do have a GT Power 608 as well, I think that is. Horses for courses and all that, but this and the ISDT tend to get used the most now. Thanks for watching, take care, happy flying. Yeah, buddy. Hey.